Yes. Is this a recording? Hello, my friend. Here's Bayan with Bayan Hello. Today, I'm just gonna show you guys how to replace the piston on the snail gun. This is one time thing, so this is my nail gun. It just piston is broken, like you guys can see. I just pick up a new one, so I'm just gonna open up and replace. But like I said, this is one time thing. It's just my gun. I don't do it fully, but I'm just gonna show you. This is Dewalt 6GC 608 nail gun, 18 gauge nail gun. I'm gonna lose this up, I'm gonna lose this part up. And like you guys can see, we have three screws. I have some tools in here. I don't know if I'm gonna use all of them, but anyway, I have them there just in case. Let's say first, I'm gonna. Oh, just with this screwdriver. I could use the screw gun to go a little bit faster. It wants to go. Uh, I have the screw gun somewhere in here. Let me grab it. If I want to use this guy. this bit replace this one it goes a little bit fast but if you don't have a screw gun just go with the screwdriver this is what we have in here nothing to place what we gonna do here gonna just remove this guy um, here we don't need too much just need to pull this pin out there you go done then I just can open this right back and like you guys can see it is right there you can see this guy is broken but uh, this is the other part of it So we're just gonna see how we can remove this. Okay, here you go. We have another pin in here. Let's see what we have. This one I, I like, you guys can see it's a little bit bent in there. Let me try to straighten up. Let's see if we can remove it. Okay, there you go. This one in here, you see this is, I just removed the nail piston from there, you see. This is the other half of it. I don't know why it broke, but it just broke. What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna push this other one right in this way. Let's see. Like it just, oh, see? Just it fit right on. And then I just gotta put this guy back. Once I put it, you see, it. you guys can see this part in there. Once I put it, just back the way it was. This one is hard to make a mistake because the design it is, is just one way it goes. So no, I just gonna bend this guy back a little bit. I'll just try to find a place for me to grab with the plier without damage anything. Okay, there you go. Let me see if I do better with this one. It's not coming off, looks to be steady in there. I just want to make sure, see if I can uh, bend the hold a little bit better. And then we just push it back in there. So this part is loose. We're just gonna push it back there, see. In the position that would go. You guys can see the, this part just go right on the wheel. So once we close it, just gonna be on the right spot, no other way. If this is not sitting right, you're not gonna be able to to close it. Okay, this one just loosen up. Let me back in there, on the right place. There you go, just fit it in. Very much about it. So this is guys, run, let's put the cover on. We just got the pin, I almost forgot the pin. <laughs> Missing part, okay. That's about it. This is the part that I was missing. 
No, we're looking good. There you go. Yeah, because I just was, uh, you guys can see we have a couple little gap in there. We align with this one. So, just hard to go wrong. Then we just tighten it up. I don't have a nail on it right now. Let's pop in the battery inside and see if it lights up and then we know if it's work. Yep. Should be working. Light is coming on. I just didn't bring any nails with me here. Let me see something here just to show you guys. Yep, I don't have nails, but you see, working like new. How was, was this piece? How do you think it broke? Not sure. It is over 10 years old, so probably is the age and the use happened, but it's good enough, probably good for another 10 years. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for your help. Thank you for watching our video and I love you guys and see you on the next video. Thank you, give you a thumbs up and uh, if you want to see uh, some great content, subscribe and we have all the video linked up for all the video from uh, Baiano, alright, thank you.